<laughs> We're shad fishing on the Potomac, man. We're having a blast. <laughs> mountain here just slop dude oh the backyard slop man holy moly so we are shad fishing on the potomac river we are catching tons of shad which is an absolute blast light action rods we're using ultralights we got various jigs and stuff like that I'm trying to get out the sun i don't know whatever doesn't matter but yeah we're having a blast man um we're shad fishing on the potomac river today we're using shad darts which have been the most effective bait we're running tandem rigs with shad darts and spoons we're running a shad dart and a little curly tail grub and all that kind of good stuff and we're catching tons of these fish that are working their way up this river to spawn and this is a migratory fish so they actually spend the majority of their life out in the ocean they don't even hang in this river like that now there is some native fish sure yeah whatever but like what we're doing is catching the shad that are moving up in the millions up this river spawning and we are having a blast doing it so stay tuned we're going to catch tons of fish up a storm man oh he wanted to come out the water he thought about coming out the water that's a runner man These things are crazy, man. Look at look at that fish. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There you go, girl. Oh, baby. <laughs> My best one. Beef. That's a beefy shad right there. Oh my god.
Good night, man. That's a big one. Smacking all noodle, man. Lay noodle. <laughs> Lay noodle, man. Oh my lordy lord. Now this ride called hell noodle. on out. Beautiful hickory shed. Off to the races. All right, we're fishing with El noodle again. El noodle. This is an eight foot. Ultralight from St. Croix, the Panfish series, dubbed the El Noodle. Oh, El Noodle's at it, baby. El Noodle. We got one on El Noodle, dude. El Noodle at it again, man. El Noodle's a fish catching machine. It's the best fish catching rod of all time. <laughs> it's my favorite ultralight, man. El Noodle. This is St. Croix L Noodle, eight foot. L Noodle, baby. Look at this fish on the L Noodle. Look at this fish on the L Noodle. I wouldn't have caught if it wasn't for the L Noodle. Even though I caught plenty on my other rods. It's like a really nice hickory shed. Though. You know why? L Noodle. That's why. L Noodle. At it again. All right, so we're going to take a break from the action real quick and go over some bait selection. We're going to go over some rigging and uh, just essentially just go over what you need to purchase and what you need to do in order to catch yourself plenty of shad. Because today, oh my God, we caught fish after fish after fish after fish. It's been an absolute blast out in the water today. Um, so let's get to exactly what you need to purchase. So here is a various selection of baits that are going to bode well for you out on the water catching shad in Maryland. <clears throat> so let's talk about the rigging. <clears throat> Pretty simple rig today. Um, we're running a shad dart on a dropper loop. Very tight to the line too. It's probably only about a quarter inch. And in tandem with that, we're running a curly tail grub. Um, the reason why we're running the curly tail um, on that eighth ounce jig head is because of the wind today high winds. Uh, we had gust up in the 20s, 30 miles an hour even at times, and it was hard to kind of shoot our bait because the wind's blowing right to our face to get our bait out where we needed to get it in order to catch a lot of fish. So your traditional setup <clears throat> would be a shad dart and one of these guys, which is a spoon. It's a flutter spoon. Single J hook on there, no troubles. Um, 
you would run the shad dart and then below that you're going to run that spoon you know on a sunny day spoons you're going to tear them up on a spoon um, but as well with that spoon being as light as it is you may not be able to put that bait exactly where it needs to be so that's why we went with the curly tail grub essentially just going with that other eighth of an ounce bait and that's an eighth of an ounce shad dart that we were using with that <clears throat> eighth of an ounce curly tail grub and uh that's all we needed to get that bait where we needed to put it and we caught a lot of fish doing that so let's talk about color selection um when it comes to your curly tail grubs the two main colors that you want are a white and you're going to want a chartreuse and as well we have here is a pink that we used and, and i've done well on pink in some days but it's not necessarily a necessity and, and to be brutally honest the main thing when it comes to all of this is timing it's all about timing it, it, it the colors do matter yes it does absolutely but the most important thing is the timing in which you get to the water in order to catch these fish so when those red butts start blooming red butt red butt it's for you diane um that is when you want to get down there and to go catch these fish because they're already up in the river so really important um timing 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 i can't stress that enough color and all that kind of stuff yeah whatever but timing is the most important thing when it comes to going ahead and catching these shad so we're going to talk about rods real quick so my favorite setup for this is ultralight all day ultralight i love ultralight fishing this is the perfect application for ultralight fishing and i got two rods that i had out with me um one's a 6.8 and it's a 13 fishing omen panfish series and i have four pound fluorocarbon on that and as well i have the eight footer el noodle um, and that's a St. Croix Panfish Series 8-foot rod that <clears throat> I used in lieu of uh, my other 6-8 rods. I had two for that particular day. Um, and yeah, you know, I was able to tink, sling that bait exactly where I needed to sling it. And even in the wind. And yeah, we had a blast catching them, man. That's ultra, ultralight fishing at its best, man. So yeah, that 4-pound fluoro with those jigs the shad darts the whatever it is to that that's all you need you really don't need anything else man don't get hemmed up purchasing five thousand different colors and all these different spoons it, it is really not that complicated man i mean it isn't it isn't you know, just a couple simple baits as long as you can put it where it needs to be and as long as your ass is on that bank when you need to be on that bank you're going to catch a lot of fish man once again timing timing and timing means everything more so than color and in the particulars in this particular application catching shad in the state of maryland one other point your retrieve um when you cast that bait out a lot of times i didn't let it sink to the bottom i just waited a couple seconds i let it go down flutter down for about and one Mississippi, it's about, about three seconds, and then I would start to slowly retrieve that thing back. I wasn't letting it get 20 foot down at the bottom and bring it, it didn't need to be all that. Um, it really didn't. A couple seconds hit the bottom, like you know, a couple seconds after your cast, and, and you were able to go ahead and uh, catch fish. So, we're gonna get back to it. Uh, we're gonna get back out on the water, we're gonna catch some more fish. So, here we are. Oh. Yeah, is yes, there? Uh, <laughs> I switched it to one of those uh, crappy uh, hair jigs. The B&M. I want to see if uh, I can catch one. No, dude, it's on the... Okay, that's funny. It's on the grub. It's on the grub, and it's not on that thing. It's been the sh shad dart, shad dart, shad dart all day. And the second I switch to something else. Huh, chartreuse. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Single shad dart. I'm still talking about this El Noodle shit, dude. I can't stop talking about El Noodle, dude. He's reeling in fish and I'm still like rambling about El Noodle. What the hell? Thank you. 
again. Bring it down. Just gonna slowly bring this thing on back. There he is. Ooh, feel like a good fish too. Feels like a little hammer. Oh, sweet, man. Never gets old. Never gets old. Never gets old. Going to Shad Dart. Okay, so that concludes the Shad Run trip here on the Potomac River, and it was an absolute blast, man. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, <laughs> not every fish is gonna make the video, that's for sure. I mean, probably just rough estimate, probably caught 80 between us both. It's probably about 40 a pop, but it's nonstop action, man. And, and if you're just a fan of fishing, just catching fish, whether catch or release, whatever it may be, this is what you wanna get on, man, because it is too much fun, man. To sit there with an ultralight rod, four pound fluoro light line and to be able to catch these fish continuously holy man. and this was this guy's first this time ever first doing time. it man ever yeah, doing that, it i'll never forget that oh my god yeah it's the best yeah. day of my life <laughs> dude isn't it like it, it, i got married and my kids were born oh yeah yeah that, that comes first right <laughs> but nonetheless yeah we had an absolute blast man we really did um i don't know i don't know what to really say you know we taught you a little bit had a you know, went out and caught fish, right? But yeah, let's yeah. get the hell out the way and let these people enjoy the view. And you can listen to Wave Types.